Water is one of our most important resources. If we run out of it, we're all going to be in trouble. The cost of water keeps rising to the point that in some areas of the world it's more expensive than gasoline. There are droughts and even areas where water is being rationed. So here's a question. When you decide you want to take a shower and you turn the shower on, how long is it before you're willing to step in? And how much water is wasted down the drain or stored in a bucket that you injure your back trying to move around? So exactly how much fresh clean water is wasted? Well, there's two parts to the answer. First is something called structural waste. That is the physical distance between the hot water tank and the shower head. And then there's behavioral waste. That's where you have your hand in the shower deciding if it's warm enough to step in and at the last moment the baby cries and you're off to something else. Now some companies start trying to save water once the water starts to get hot. We believe that there is a large gap there as you can see between the fresh water starting point and the point where you actually step into the shower. So exactly how much water is wasted? Well, we ran some tests. And whether you're using half-inch pipe that is PVC, copper, or PEX, the results are about the same. You're wasting approximately one gallon for every 64 feet of water, or approximately two ounces per foot. And believe it or not, if you're using a tankless water heater system, you waste even more. So to give you a diagram, because some people don't understand how this is happening, the diagram shows you that while you have a hot water tank full of hot water, when you first go to the shower, the distance from the hot water tank to the shower head has pipes that are full of cold water. And when you start to turn the water on, the cold water has to first flush out of the system and normally go down the drain before the hot water arrives. We'll enter our new company called AquaView. Our slogan is results you can see, and you'll see why we say that a little later. We prevent the wasting of this water with our new product called the Shower Miser. Shower Miser allows you to stop wasting the water that normally would go down the drain and instead have it be salvaged for later use. Many parts of the world are starting to save gray water. In fact, in Northern California, there's a push to save gray water, like from the laundry, for use in the garden. But none are promoting the gathering and saving of emergency fresh water. Now there is the Freshwater Reclamation System from AquaView, Inc. The Shower Miser system has many features, including low cost, easy to install, easy to use, easy to maintain, prevents wasting drinking water, saves money, creates stored emergency drinking water that can be stored indefinitely, unlike gray water that has to be used within 24 hours. It's environmentally friendly, and best of all, never stepping into a cold shower ever again. Here's a typical shower in an average home. Here is what it looks like before the shower miser unit is installed. Here's a close-up of that spot. Here's the shower miser installed. And a close-up of the shower miser unit. Here is a close-up of the before and the after. We also have an in-wall version we call the shower caddy. Kind of looks like a handle like you see here. You can put a washcloth on it or a brush or something like you see in the following picture. But for new construction, reconstruction, or pre-construction, we have something called the magic mushroom, which is simply a mushroom that's flat on the wall that works with the shower miser unit you see there. Let's take a moment to explain what we're doing with the freshwater reclamation system from AquaView Inc. What we're doing is we're taking the fresh, clean water that's in the piping in the home that normally is wasted going out the shower head and down the drain before it's ready to be used and sending that through the shower miser unit you see there in that blue circle specifically past that little tube which we'll talk in the red which we'll talk more about in just a moment and we're sending it to a sealed portable water storage tank system they then can be linked with any other and many other kinds of water conservation systems. 
Here are some examples of retrofit installations of a freshwater reclamation system from Aquaview Inc. Here is a typical shower in a home before any modifications are made. This is the wall outside that home. The shower head is removed and one hole is drilled as shown by the circles. The shower miser unit is attached and the pipe ran to the outside of the house. The shower head is reattached and the installation is complete. On the outside of the house, a standard PVC pipe comes down to a hermetically sealed food grade water storage tank, in this case a 55 gallon drum. But what about where drilling is not allowed? For townhomes, apartments, condominiums, where they cannot drill through the wall, this is a sample of what would be done to save the water for other uses. Once the water has been collected, instead of trying to move a heavy bottle, you can use the spigot, as shown here, that's in the bottle, or for faster removal, you can use an attachable and detachable pump so that the water can be removed for cooking pets, watering your plants, or whatever needs you have. With the sink miser, even more water can be saved. Many people walk up to a sink, turn on the hot water to either wash their hands or rinse a greasy dish, and let the cold, fresh, clean water go down the drain. The sink miser will prevent that from happening, and the water will be saved. Remember, this is 100% drinkable water that is constantly being rotated in and out of the storage tank so it does not become stagnant. And in an emergency, you have a supply of fresh water that under normal circumstances would have just been sent down the drain. So there's only a couple of questions that remain and one big lingering one. How do you know the hot water has actually arrived? Well, on the shower miser, there's that blue tube. Keep an eye on that tube. As cold water flows through that tube, it remains blue. Once the hot water has arrived, it turns a pinstripe blue and white color. This will react in about under four seconds when the hot water has arrived. As hot water continues to flow through the tube, it will turn completely white. This is why our company's slogan is, results you can see. To accomplish this process, we use something called thermochromatic pigments. Thermochromatic pigments have been around for decades. But the so the benefits of our system is that there is no wiring, there are no batteries, there is no electricity, no UL, FCC, CSA, or other type of safety issues, works indefinitely as long as it's not in direct sunlight, is made of 100% food grade PVC plastic, is easy to install, maintain and replace if necessary, and is extremely cost effective. But the last question, is it safe? Well, thermochromatic pigments have been used in cups, straws, spoons, coffee mugs, pencils, and even fingernail polish, all by name brand companies you have come to know and trust. That's one of the products that our company Aquaview does. We hope you will look into our products for RVs and boats as well. Thank you for watching.